Welcome back to Travel Show Live. We are very fortunate this afternoon because we're with Jason Avery, executive chef from Para. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Thank you very much for letting us come be you in your it. kitchen. Of course. Your time. home here at Para. It is, it is a home away from home. Madison Avenue at uh, like 41st Street, right, in right. New York City. 303 Madison. And there's actually, Para is the, means something. To Para, Mediterranean yeah. cuisine, right? Para is actually a neighborhood in Istanbul where it was uh, way back was a melting pot neighborhood where all the non-Muslims lived, uh, Italians, Greeks, uh, Jews, Spaniards and stuff congregated and lived in this melting pot uh, area in Istanbul See, called Pear. I love it when I learn things on my own show. And, this mean, and in Latin perfect. it means pear, like the fruit, pear, the like fruit, the fruit as well. All right, very good. What are we going to make today? That's the first thing. Today we're going to do a beautiful hand-chopped, uh, seasoned, hand-marbled, stuffed lamb burger. Oh my god! Lamb gosh. burger stuffed with uh, feta cheese, black olive, roasted tomatoes, All right. roast garlic, mint, onions. It sounds difficult, but it's not difficult to make, right? It's not. You can very easily do it at home. We, we hand chop the lamb ourselves here yeah. and season ourselves. You could buy it basically at any grocery store. I know in my neighborhood. Okay. I live up in Harlem now. I can even buy ground lamb. Hey, that's pretty so good. All you right. You get it any kind what of What can store. I do to help? You tell me. I'll be happy to help. You want to help me do it? What, I can stand what? here, do whatever you like. Well, generally, what we what we do with this is we start with uh, the lamb meat, and it's seasoned. Okay. I've took the liberty of making it into two thin patties that are pressed out, so it's easy to stuff and and uh, and reform. And plus, then you and I can have like a lamb burger chow down afterwards. Exactly. Right? It's exactly. like a competition. I can't wait for that. What the meat is seasoned with? The meat is mixed in your in your hand and in a bowl. It's seasoned with uh, kosher salt. Okay. Uh, fresh black pepper. Okay. And. Uh, Turkish paprika, which I recommend is very aromatic, very good flavor. If you can't find a Turkish paprika at your grocery store, try for a Hungarian paprika. Almost every store has a Hungarian paprika. Really brings out the flavor and gives it a zip to the, the And if you can't lamb. find that, if you have the time, you can order it online, right? Of Usually course you, you can find it spice online. online. Okay, sure. very sure. good. All right, so we got that in there. What's so next? all those spices are mixed into there, brought okay. to that. All right. What I do next is I have a little black olive, just right. simple chopped black olive. Okay. is placed inside okay a little bit of the feta cheese oh boy yeah. i you can use a turkish feta a french feta a greek feta what i use here at Paris is a bulgarian feta cheese really? here in new york you can find it in murray's cheese i find it's not too salty it's a nice and creamy uh, texture to it who knew there were so many i didn't know there's a uh, little bit of mint mint sure standard a little bit of uh, red onion, yep. uh -huh. and you can use fresh tomato, or I've taken tomatoes I've roasted in the oven with some fresh thyme and garlic, okay. like an oven roasted tomato, Okay. and I put a little dollop of that in it. All right. And then as the final step, you take the other side of the patty, put it on top. Oh my gosh, that thing's going to be huge. Pick up the patty, and then on the surface you would press down with your hands, just forming it around the edges. Okay. And you're actually, are you actually making a seal there, just in case? Yeah, it just seals seals this over there. And we'll, well, we could, but it's more fun just for you to walk over there. Okay, All we'll right, do yeah, it like Come that. on over. Okay, because I want to take one of it needs to set up in the fridge and oh. get a little firm. I see, okay, very good. So I'm going to grab one from here. So what I recommend is after forming the burger, put it in on a piece of plastic wrap or a nice clean plate in your fridge and okay. let it set up for... Good 15, 20 minutes, it just gets the meat to firm up a little bit. That's all it needs, 15 to 20. Yeah, just so the, the meat's not too soft when it hits the grill. Mm -hmm. I like to cook it medium to medium rare. Because it's stuffed and the cheese gets melty and such oh, inside. I love it. I, uh, it's I a, can't it's wait. a pretty good quick, quick cook because okay. of the stuffing. So I will place it on the grill. Standard grill temperature, I'm assuming. Yeah, your home barbecue, or whatever you know, get the coals nice and white. Can you can you broil? Can you broil this? You could broil it. You could saute it. You yep. could do it how, how, however you like. I cool. like the little char flavor. I like on the char flavor. Yeah. What we serve uh, with the lamb burger here at Paris is our homemade burger bun. Oh. Obviously, I don't think at home you're gonna make your own burger bun. Probably you're not. Get a great Kaiser roll or a potato roll. I love potato rolls on burgers. Yep. And lettuce, tomato, and what I finish with you see the finished product some homemade Turkish pickles okay. I put on a little shish this little mini uh, pickle shish that's oh garnished with hand cut french fries oh this is gonna be delicious you're right. making me hungry good well let's give it a try <laughs> but for people that haven't eaten Mediterranean food I know you'll find this right some people out there said I don't even know what Mediterranean food is what are we gonna find in terms of the influences for Mediterranean food well in Eastern Mediterranean which is Tur uh, Paris representing I think you're finding lots of uh, 
lots of tomato, lots of uh, egg, eggplant, definitely lots of lamb, lots of fresh, uh, uh, fresh fish and shellfish, mm -hmm. as well as I think parsley, lemon, eggplant, tomato, and the Eastern Mediterranean are key flavors. Grape leaves, mm -hmm. rice, uh, great olive Olives. oils and mm -hmm. sea salts, very fresh, healthy, health conscious, low calorie, uh, Cooking light, light but fulfilling and fully flavored cooking. I think in Turkish cuisine, it can be light and healthy, but they definitely have lots of different spices and blends of spices mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and mixtures of ingredients that can really give you a lot of flavor with uh, less uh, calories and saturated fat. And as a chef, you can do can you do your own seasoning blend? Can you can you mix and match a little bit, or are there pretty set standard spice mixtures? Uh, there's different degrees of heat and temperature and mm -hmm. stuff. And we use one uh, spice called Marish chili powder, which is a Turkish chili powder, uh -huh. which is very different than like a Mexican chili powder, something you'd have in Southwestern cooking. It's a little spicy, but it's more aromatic. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they use Z Z depending on the area of Turkey, uh, Zaytar, which is a blend of different spices mm -hmm. and seeds and lots of pomegranate syrup oh, wow. is used. So there's oh, lots of cool. sweets and sours and spices and lots of different notes. Nice. All right, that's good. All right, so this has been on here only a couple of minutes each side, right? A couple of minutes each side. I'd say like Bill, about three to four, four to five minutes on each side, maybe four minutes on each side for medium rare. Okay. Because it's stuff. I'm toasting on the grill. Same. Okay. Our uh, homemade bun. I'm gonna put it on the bun. Temperature inside of that meat, we should be looking for for about medium rare to medium. You can cook it however you like, but I think uh, that's the way I like it. Yeah, I like that. Gonna come over here, assemble it, a little uh, fresh uh, Jersey sliced tomatoes, romaine lettuce. Classic. Oops, sorry. Oscar, you can give me some French fries. We have some beautiful hand cut French fries. They're seasoned with uh, oregano and sea salt. And then a little roasted garlic oil is drizzled over and gives it a nice, uh, nice flavor. We call them our Mediterranean fries. I like it. Okay. Ooh, killer. Place a little bit here in our uh, little fry basket. You just have to be a little careful while cutting the burger, yeah, because it's stuffed and uh, you might lose likes it. to ooh, little cheese likes to ooze out and such. But there you oh, go. Oh, outstanding! You can see the cheese kind of melts in there. Stuffed lamb burger. Stuffed right? lamb burger. Oh, unbelievable! Enjoy. Thanks, sir. Oh my heaven! Mm. Oh. I'm really glad we have commercials, because I can finish this burger. Cool. We'll be right back. Thank you, Enjoy. Chef. Enjoy. Oh, man.